Hello and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to talk about qualitative risk analysis and project management and how is qualitative risk analysis actually done using Microsoft Excel. And here, as you can see, we have a probability and impact matrix for our risks in the project. Through this matrix, we are going to prioritize our risks in the project. Basically, qualitative risk analysis is about prioritizing the risks in the project. There might be a number of known risks in the project, out of which you have to put some before others to deal with. As you can see here in the risk register, we have 10 number of risks in our risk register. Some of them are shown in red, some of them are shown in yellow, and some of them are shown in green. The red ones are of high priority risks and should be put at the top of the list. So in here, if you want to see a prioritized and more arranged list of your risks, the risks with high priority should be put at the beginning, while the risks with low priority and shown in green should be put down below the list, because they will do less amount of damage if they happen to the project. So what I will do is I'll select the risk register list in here, and I'll go to data from here, I'll go to sort, and I'll sort them by the overall score. I'll select the overall score from here and I'll order from largest to smallest and click OK. So as you can see, the red ones are here at the top and the other ones are below here. The order that we had before in here was based on the dates that the risks were identified. While in here we have the risks sorted based on their priority and importance. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a probability and impact matrix, and besides that, how to assign those scores in your risk register and prioritize your risks. So let's get started. In here, as you can see, we have the probability ranging from 1 to 3. 1 is the lowest number and 3 is the highest number. This means that the probability is very low, or in other words, the risk is less likely to happen. While the high score or the high rating means that the risk is more likely to happen. On the impact side, we have the same story. The low impact or score one means that, that the risk will have lower amount of damage to the project, while the high score means that the risk will do higher amount of damage in terms of cost and budget and schedule to the project. In order to create the probability and impact metrics, we will write down equal sign, we will multiply this cell into the cell here. Since in here, we are going to scroll this down, so this row should not move. So in here, I'll lock the row number in here and write down a dollar sign before the number 9, which is the row number. In addition, if you're going to drag this to the right here, this column number or C should not move to the right. So in here, I'll write a dollar sign before the letter C and press enter. Now I'll drag it down here and drag it to the right. Now the next step in here is to color code our values in here. So for that purpose, I'll go to conditional formatting. From here, I'll go to color skills, more rules, and in here I'll select three color skill. For the lowest value, we'll have a green color since the impact will be very low. For the medium level, we'll leave this as yellow, and from the higher level, we will select a red color and click OK. So in here, as you can see, the risk with low probability and low impact will be in green, while the risk with high probability and high impact will be shown in red. The next thing is to assign this format to a risk register. In here, I'll write down equal sign probability times impact times this value and press enter. I'll apply it to all of the cells in here. And lastly, we are going to color code the values in here. Again, I'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, select between. If the value is between zero and three, we will say that this should be as green. And from here, we'll go to custom format. We'll select a green color for this. Click OK and click OK from here as well. Again, we'll go to conditional formatting. Make sure to select the air. Make sure to keep this area selected and go to 
highlight sales rules between if the values between four and six then this should be shown in yellow go to custom format under fill and select the yellow and click ok and click ok in here again go to conditional formatting the, if the value is between uh, seven and nine then it should be shown in red go to custom format from here we pick a red color click ok and ok so in here as you can see your risks are color coded and you can choose the high priority risks and maybe sort your risk register based on high priority risks to low priority risks. So this is basically what qualitative risk analysis is in project management. If you have found this video helpful, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and following us on Instagram and LinkedIn. Thank you very much for watching.